Hey there Smiters, my name is Marksman and today we're going to be going over Hell, the latest god added into Smite. This is a god review and it's my first time doing it so there might be a few kinks and other hiccups along the way but I hope you guys can enjoy the future of this god review series. Both beautiful and terrible, the goddess Hell is the keeper of the dead, laying judgment on souls and deciding who is reborn. She is both sides of two extremes. As daughter of Loki and sister of Fenrir, Hell is joining us in Smite as a magical healer from the Norse mythology. Hell's passive is Stance Attunement. When Hell is in a stance, she gradually attunes to the strength of that stance, gaining up to 20% damage in the dark stance and 20% healing in the light stance. Hell's alt allows her to switch stances. While in dark stance, she gains more magical power, and in light stance, she gains more mana per 5. Alright guys, Hell is pretty awesome, you guys all have to admit that by now. Her abilities are just amazing, and yes, I realize this, I did not completely finish all of her abilities in that in that god screen, I kinda cut it a little short, but like I said, there's still some bugs and stuff that I need to fix for this series, but I hope you guys can enjoy it. But anyways, I'm gonna get right back to Hell. Hell is an amazing team fighter. If you, if you have her on your team, you're not gonna die in a team fight, it's as simple as that. Um, her 3 is just a frickin' Hadouken of a ability. It's, it it should have just been titled an alt because it does so much damage. And uh, just with the cooldown time with it, it's just, it's great. Um, if you look, if you saw right there, I completely saved Hades right there with my heal. Bacchus probably would have killed him. Um, so, you know, she's awesome in team fights and other stuff like that. With all of her abilities and stuff and... Uh, other stuff. Like I said, I'm sorry guys, this is my first time doing it. I'm kind of kind of weird on this, but right now I was just in a team fight right there. Uh, we all just ganged up on Rob because he got a little too greedy and he wanted to kill our Hades. He might have killed her, or killed him, killed Hades. Hades is a guy, that's kind of weird. Kiwi just killed Numir. Uh, I wasn't really part of that exactly, but now as hell I can initiate a lot more attacks. Um, seeing that with her ability change now, previous to her old one, she, he, ah, she's a lot better at attacking people because her old ability or her old character used to have it so that when you were in a stance it would cool down your other other stances abilities well now that's no longer a thing now when I was recording this they might have changed they might change this in the future because she is a little OP at the moment uh, but anyways um, like I said the awesome in team fights freaking awesome three we're gonna take out Kiwi right now Kiwi's dead or, no, we're taking out Ymir. What am I talking about, Mark? You're so bad at this. Oh, I'm doing this all in one cut. I refuse to do this again. Uh, but right there, bam. Her one, even in her light stance, does a crap ton of damage. And then not to mention that she just heals so much out of it. Um, so she's definitely, definitely a viable person on your team. And then Bastet's going to pick up that last kill. And then we're going to score a... We didn't score a DSI. I thought we scored a DSI. No, no, we're going to score a DSI now because Box is dead. Bye. Bye. Yours truly. Anyways, I thought I'd go over items now uh, for Hell. This will be a lot more professional in the future, guys. <laughs> um, anyways, with Hell, you want to start off with the Vampiric Shroud, and you want to go rush into Shoots of Focus. Um, it's definitely something that you should do, and I highly recommend it. And then um, Book of uh, Thoth, if I'm saying that correctly, helps her maintain a lot of uh, survivability in a lane because you can just start spamming mana uh, without having to worry about going down on that. And then Divine Ruin is also a definitely, definitely, DEFINITELY a thing that you need to be picking up. Uh, depending if there's a healer on the other team. If not, I would go with uh, Taloon. Uh, just for the extra magical power so you can be dishing out more damage and healing yourself more. Um, and by then, you're going to want to sell Vampiric Shroud and get Chronos Pendant or Breastplate of Valor, depending on who's on the other team. Uh, you can really pick up that. And then you rush into Rod, so you get a crap ton of damage, and that... Oh yeah, and then you get Gem of Isolation. Gem of Isolation is super, super necessary with health, especially at endgame because people are dealing so much damage, and it'll also give you a little bit more survivability with all the health, and not to mention the extra slow power that you get from it. So, this was Hell, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, it'll be a lot more professional in the future. It's just this is my first time doing it. I want to kind of get an idea. If you guys want something more like this, if you want something more casual, uh, leave it in the comments. 
And thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, my name is Marksman. This was Smite. If you haven't played it already or you're tempted to play it, there's a link in the description that you can sign up. It helps me out, and it gives you a cool game. So, yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed.